now joined by the head coach, Karen Aston. Well, coach, you pick up the second win of the year. What did you make of this performance? Um, I, I thought that we played kind of how we've been playing, to be honest with you, which is that there's some good moments and some flashes of of good execution and flashes of, of really good things. Um, and then there's just moments where you're just shaking your head, like, what are we doing? And um, what is our intention? You know, and, and I think that coming out, out of the Arizona game, we talked a lot about how we needed to try to play inside out. Um, I, I think we are a very literal team where, yes, let's try to play inside out, but I think the bottom line is early in the game when we had a lot of the turnovers, it, it was forced inside. I thought it started to open things up a little bit when we made some shots, and uh, I think that's probably the good thing I can take away from today is we made some perimeter shots that will give some players some confidence. But, um, you know, my biggest concern, and I've been saying this, is that I, I, we're not guarding the basketball at all. And we, we've got to, to shore up um, just basic fundamentals of defending the basketball because there's just too many straight line drives, too many and ones where we're late for help. And so our, our defense has, is really a bigger issue to me right now than our offense is. But uh, we have some time. And I, I think once we get through this stretch after the Thanksgiving holidays and we can really, uh, you know, you have a, a pretty good stretch of time where you can focus on, on some fundamentals and focus on on improving on the things that you've been exposed at in the month of November. We've watched Isabel Palmer and Celeste Taylor do all the right things here. Uh, Isabel Palmer obviously has been out with most of the preseason, but yeah. they come into today's game and finally get the lid off. And, you know, you talk about inconsistency, but they played fairly consistent today. Talk a little bit about what you expect from them and your thoughts on today's game for them. Yeah, I think one thing that you know what you're getting from them is, is effort and they try really hard, I would say in particular as freshmen, they're trying really hard to pay attention to the detail. It's not always right, um, and it's not always perfect, but I do think that they're, they're going to continue to improve because they, they have an intention every day in practice. They, they want to do well, they want to do right. Um, you know, and I've said this all along, you know, had Izzy been involved in our summer activities and our fall practices, she would be she would be in the main rotation. And, and I mean, she's obviously about to put herself in that just from the sense of just her play-to-play -play behavior and her play-to-play -play mentality. But I also think she gives us a different look offensively. Before we let you go, how did you like having the screaming kids <laughs> back out here again? Over 5,000 of them. It is my most fun day, just right. because it's, it's great to see uh, these kids get the exposure to the University of Texas, uh, our, obviously our program and, our, and women's basketball in general. But also, just to be on campus, uh, I know this is a treat for, for all of those young ones. We appreciate it, Coach. Congratulations Thank you on day. the win. Thank you. Texas takes down the Vaqueros 85-69. to 69.